911, what's your emergency? My heart is hurting so bad. But that's no crime, miss. It should be a crime. Because how is it not criminal that someone can tear apart a beating heart and leave freely? Could she really be crazy? Or it's something else. Dear friends, instead of judging your partner, you can pray for them. Also, before you make vows with someone, remember dating and courtship under God's guidance are important things. However for Raphael, he was prepared to face anything, as long as his wife was from India. I used India this time because I just love their saris dresses. However, this interesting story is just fiction and for fun with lessons in between. But kindly watch to the end and please don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's go. <laughs>So, you are most welcome to our new home, Priya. Oh, my name is Priyanka. Only my father calls me Priya. However, your house looks great, sir. You know what? Can you please stop calling me, sir? I know, you already know my name. Of course. Raphael is your name. Good. Raphael, not sir. After all, we are married now. Nobody calls their husband, sir. But, unfortunately your name can't be shortened. I know, because it even sounds funny shortening it. I'm not a rough man anyway. <laughs> so this is the living room. This is the washroom. What of the kitchen? Where is the kitchen, please? I will take you to the kitchen, but first let me show you some other places first. Please, I want the kitchen first. But why the kitchen first? It is a bit far from here. Because, we got very exhausted from the party, I need to prepare you something to eat, you must be starving. <laughs> oh sorry. So you are the one starving. That's why you need the kitchen. Okay, it's true sir, I'm also starving. Jeez. She's calling me sir again. Did you say something please? Um. Priyanka. If the name, Raphael is hard for you to remember, then just use my middle name, Dave. You mean Dave, from David. I know David from the Bible. How come you know something from the Bible? Like I mean. Of course, I am a Christian from India. Wow. We are actually few Christians in India, that's why I love and pray that people who spread the gospel should reach out to people in India. They should. They really should. Can you now take me to the kitchen? Oh, sure. A few minutes later. So, how do you speak English so fluent? 
I studied high school from the UK. Then my parents transferred to India when I was mid-college. They kept me indoors all the time, so in case of anything, I'm ready to learn. Oh that's great. Also, when I met you, you were not putting on such dresses, you dressed like the ladies around here. Actually, this is our cultural wear back in India, they are called saris dresses. I will be putting on these dresses sometimes, but not oftenly, because I'm used to the other style. If that's okay with you. Oh, feel free to wear anything that makes you happy. As long as it is decent. Um. Tomorrow morning I will go somewhere. Please keep our home. Okay, please. And oh, I haven't seen you with a phone. Don't you have one? No, I don't have a phone. That's odd because almost everyone your age carries a phone in this era. Just like I told you, my parents were very strict. Don't worry, I will go out buy you a phone. Thank you so much, Dave. You are the best. And buying her the phone was the start of the movie. The next morning, Why is my phone hot? Why is it heating up so fast? Oh, I think, I will go put it in the fridge. I want it to cool down a little, so I can get back to Facebook. Four hours later. Welcome back, Dave. Thank you so much, Priyanka. By the way, I called you several times over the phone, but you were not picking. Is everything okay? You got me so worried. I'm very fine, but my phone got very hot. I put it in the fridge to cool down a little. You put the phone in the fridge? Yes, Dave, it's in the fridge. Oh no. I wonder what's up with him, he left in a rush. I hope he is fine. I will just go check on my phone, see if it has cooled down. Dave, you are here. Wait, is that ice cream in your hand? I have not had ice cream for quite some decades. This is not ice cream. Dave, is everything okay? Look here. You have spoiled your phone. And who even told you phones are put in fridge? Now you have no phone. In the fridge. I'm very sorry, Dave. <laughs> it's okay, I will go fix it. But please be careful next time. This phone costed dollars. Please ask me when you don't understand something. Okay, please, and I'm very sorry. I will go fix it now. Please take care of yourself. Thank you. A few hours later. Welcome back, Dave. Thank you. How are you? Good, good. So, did you fix my phone? No. They said they could not fix it, so I just dumped it into the garbage. <laughs> I was just playing with you, but I have your phone. They have fixed it. Really? Of course, yes, my love. Oh, sorry. Priyanka. It's okay, Dave. So, can I please have the phone now? Here it is. Thank you, Dave. It is fixed now. Go put it again in the fridge. Okay, please. I will do that right away. Wait, please. Where are you going? I'm going to put my phone in the fridge. Again. But, you just told me to put it in the fridge. Okay. Go and put it. Okay, please. No, please come back here. Again. Where is your brain? My brain. What do you mean? You want to take your phone back in the fridge. Is your brain with you right now? Oh, sorry. I'm not taking it back. Oh my god. 
Does she go crazy sometimes? Did you say something? Yes. Please come sit here. Okay, listen. Whenever you don't understand anything, please ask me. Right. Okay, please. Two weeks later. You are leaving for work already. Yes, and please take care of yourself. Did you take your coffee? I'm very sorry, Dave. You wake up every morning and you go to work alone. Maybe I will look for a job using my phone and start to help you with the bills. <laughs> That's very kind of you, but it is fine. I'm actually planning something out for you, so you don't keep bored here at home. However, I have to go before I get late. Bye. A few hours later. Oh. Wow, I can't believe this. I should call Dave now and inform him about this good news. We are not going to suffer anymore. Oh, it's my wife. Halo Dave, luck is on our side. You need to quit your job and come back home. We are going to be rich. A miracle is right here with me. What are you saying, Priyanka? Is everything okay? I know. You don't trust my brain, but this is serious money. Don't lose this chance. Please come home now. Bye. Hey, wait. Oh. She hung up already. I need to go ask for permission and I go check on her. Before she does something creepy, she must be out of her mind again. Because I kind of noticed, there's really something strange with her. Let me just call his boss now. A strange number. This must be a new client. Hello, please. Halo, am I speaking to Mr. Raphael Dave's boss? Yes, I'm his boss. How do I help you, miss? Do you need Raphael specifically? No, I need you. You are a very wicked man. Wicked man, my husband suffers to work long hours for you, but you pay him less money, okay? From today, he is not going to work for you no more. After all, we are getting rich from today. Jeez, just wasting my time. Hello, please excuse me, boss. My wife needs my help now, and it's an emergency. I will be back shortly. Coming back where? Just go away. Back here. Boss, is everything all right? Just go. Thank you. I will be back. I wonder what's up with uncle today. He's acting up. Why did he even tell me to call him boss anyway? I will talk to him later. I hope he is fine. Priyanka. That must be Dave at the door. Now what is this for? I'm sorry but it will be okay. Are you out of your mind? And where's the money you were talking about? Please, come with me. Can you now read this from my Facebook? Can you slap your husband for five trillion? Priyanka. Where's the money here? I can't see it. But did you even read it? Okay, I will read for you clearly. Maybe you are not getting it here. It reads... Can you give your husband one slap for five trillion dollars? And that's why I slapped you, we're going to be rich. I said I would help you with bills, remember? It's true, she must be crazy. I didn't hear that. Look here, the message said one slap. Why did you give me two slaps instead? Of course, if they said one slap for five trillion dollars. That means two slaps, they will give us ten trillion dollars. <laughs> So when are they sending the money? Let's wait, they will send. Okay, let me go to the washroom shortly. One moment, she's okay. Another moment, she does crazy things, especially when something excites her, or makes her anxious. God. What did I get myself into? Priyanka. Have they sent the money yet? 
Not yet. Let me go check my Facebook page again. Don't even bother. Priyanka. If you go and get Mark Zuckerberg's money, Elon Musk's money, Bill Gates' money, and combine it together, you will never get ten trillion dollars. Who are they? You made me leave what I was doing at work. Because we are going to get rich, Dave. You know what? You get creepy sometimes. Why did I say something wrong? Okay, you stay. I will get back to work now. We shall talk later. Please don't bother going back. I already spoke to your boss. I told him we no longer need his job anymore. And I even called him names because he overworks you, and I think he pays you less. And what names did you call him? I was raised by him. I told him he was very wicked for overworking you, and we no longer need his job no more. You are a very crazy woman. I'm not crazy. In fact, you are not just crazy. You are also the wicked one here. Please don't call me wicked. You are breaking my heart. Yes, you are. Crazy. Just make sure I don't lose my job and stop acting like a baby. Before you judge your partner, find out what's behind their behavior. Don't be quick to speak out of anger. However, it may be easy to judge someone by character. But when you dig to find out what's behind their behavior, you may get surprised. Let's continue, but please kindly don't forget to like and subscribe. My heart is so broken. I'm not crazy. I was only looking out for him. What can I do? My heart is hurting. Why everyone calls me crazy? But, ain't I really crazy? I do things and regret later. It's painful when you know your weakness, but don't know how to handle it. Yet people keep using it to describe you. Maybe I should go call the emergency line. They could encourage me, maybe. Nine one one. What's your emergency? My heart is hurting so bad. But that's no crime, miss. It should be a crime. Because how is it not criminal that someone can tear apart a beating heart and leave freely? I don't know, but that's not something I can help you with. Then who can? Who can help me? Because the pain in my body feels like it could break me. Yet you're telling me it's no crime committed because there's no external infliction. Miss, you want cuts and bruises on my body in order to take my name, but cuts and bruises to my mind and my heart don't seem to be enough. I don't know, but it feels like an emergency. It felt like an emergency to me. What did you just do, Priyanka? <laughs> Let's go. I will tell you. I feel relieved now. And I'm sorry. Please forgive me for making you leave your work. I care for you. But you were calling police to arrest me. No, I would never let them arrest you. Actually, my heart was in a dilemma, and I felt lonely. I wanted to speak to someone who cares, to someone who doesn't think I'm crazy. Okay, please go take some rest. I have forgiven you, and I'm sorry for calling you names. Just don't trust whatever you see on social media. And very soon, we are going to see a therapist. But why? Relax. It's going to be fun and most importantly helpful for both of us. A few minutes later. Maybe I should convince my boss. He could take me back. But you said he raised you. He will definitely take you back. It doesn't matter. He is a very principled man. He doesn't tolerate nonsense. He fired his own daughter, and he was even against me marrying you. I'm very sorry for making you go through this. It's okay. Please take some rest. <laughs> I know. There must be something strange with you, Priyanka. But I will find out soon, 
and help you. I have to call my uncle now. What do you want now, son? Um, I'm very sorry for whatever my wife said to you. She was just not in her senses. Forgiven. But you are fired. Bye. See, my job is now ruined. I'm sorry, please. But that is now in past. It can't be changed. Did you just say past? Yes, and I think we should start planning for something new. That is already in past. Yes, it is past, but it still hurts. We're gonna be affected. I know, and I understand. The past can hurt, but the way I see it, you can either run from it, or learn from it. Let's learn from the past. Also, you cannot depend on job alone. My dad once told me that when one has a chance for a job, they should use the money wisely, and this can be through saving a portion of it and invest it into other streams of income. You are right. Past is past. I will look for another job tomorrow and start afresh. The next morning. I'm Priyanka. Before I go look for another job, can I please speak to you in the kitchen, as I have my breakfast? It's alright please. So, we need to make some things straight, since we are a married couple. It's your uncle. My boss, but he just fired me. I can't tell, please just speak to him. I will give you some space. Hello, yes please sir. Raphael, please come back to work. You can't be jobless when I'm here. More so nobody does it better than you here, I trained you better, see you. Have a half day at work, bye. Wow, I should inform Priyanka about this good news. Make a positive difference in what you do at your workplace and you will be irreplaceable. Hey Priyanka, what's making you so happy? I have been looking for you in the house. I'm here waiting for you to go back to your workplace. How did you know I was going back? Oh, I had forgotten my phone in the kitchen, as I was coming to pick it. I heard some of the conversation with your uncle, I couldn't resist to eavesdrop. I'm sorry. Um. It's okay, actually, I hope you apologize to him sometime. I will do just that when I get back to the house. Um Priyanka, what I wanted to tell you back in the kitchen is that instead of being on internet for unserious things, you can be there to learn what you don't know. And use phone when you are doing nothing, not all the time, that's if it is okay with you anyway. See you later, have a great day. Now that I'm going back to work, I will make sure my wife gets a good therapist. I got to know her weakness, she acts quick without a second thought. She has great ideas anyway. For her weakness, prayers and a therapist will help her. Then we shall be better. <laughs> a few minutes later. Hey young man, what's up with your wife, is she okay? Um I don't know, but I think she is not fine, I mean mentally. Meaning? Sometimes she is okay, but when anxious, she will act immediately by doing something that she thinks is right. Like, there's a time her phone heated up, and she immediately put it in fridge. Who does that in their rightful senses? Also when she insulted you, it was after something captured her attention on Facebook. Even when I blamed her for insulting you, I called her names too, and she felt heartbroken. You wouldn't want to know what she did after. What did she do? She dialed 911 for emergency. I warned you about getting a random woman. I love her, and I'm willing to do anything to help her. So, what did she tell the emergency? She wanted justice for a broken heart. That people who break people's hearts should be arrested too. <laughs> Nobody would do that in their right senses, though she may be right. But I think there's something with her. Actually, your friend is a psychiatrist. Maybe he could help find out what's going on. But also, 
Since she's from a totally different culture, you need to expose her to the new environment. So she gets to know what happens. How people behave. She could get friends who could help her cope you know. But she seems a good person. Yes, she is a good person. What the psychiatrist found out. My best friend, you are most welcome once again. How was your trip? The last time I saw you was my wedding day. Good, good. How's your Indian wife now? She's okay. However, I guess she's the reason you called me here. Did you find out something? Yes. She has agoraphobia. And this is a type of anxiety disorder, where a person is afraid to leave environments they know, or environments they consider to be safe. And, in severe cases, a person with agoraphobia considers their home to be the only safe environment. They may avoid leaving their home for days, months or even years. However, for your wife, according to her story, her parents homeschooled her, and she wasn't exposed to outside environment. They were not aware of her condition, so instead they added salt to the condition she already had. Her character is because she wasn't exposed to what people do out in the world. Including phones and everything. So, what can they do to help her? We shall talk further when she is with you, however. It is a process and it's not worrying for her case. But first, you need to find out what she loves to do. What she admires to do, but is incapable of doing due to anxiety. Actually, to help your wife let go of the past experience, caused by her condition, there's a video shared on Bykov's Stories YouTube channel, the link will be in description of this video, to show how to let go of an old bad habit. Or to let go of a bad addiction. That video will help her so much, however. Just to give you some tips. Let your wife practice relaxation techniques, especially when she feels anxious or excited, just as explained further in the video I talked about. Let her also do what she loves. You need to find out her hobbies. In case she requires medications, a medical specialist will be available. Let her also try cognitive behavioral and exposure therapy. Seek counseling and talk therapist. There are self-help methods too. But all explain simply in the linked video in description. You will keep coming with her. She will get well. But she is not bad to be with. I know. Thank you so much Alejandro. I will come with her next time. Okay Rafael, I will join you later at the ranch, for the race. <laughs> Alright cowboy. One year later, after practicing and not giving up on advice from therapist, and under God's guidance. Love wins. Hello dear Baikov Stories friends. It's the Indian girl from Mumbai Maharashtra. However, you need to know that dating and courting someone, under God's guidance is important. Get to know them before you decide to marry them. Because if you rush, you will crush. Because not everyone is lucky, to find a patient man like Raphael David. Also, you need to pray and seek professional counseling when stranded. However, kindly subscribe and give a thumbs up if you like this video. May God be with you all. Thank you for watching, Bikov Stories.